Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to go through the muscles of the tongue. The muscles of the tongue are formed from the paraxial mesoderm, which eventually become the occipital somites. So the muscles of the tongue can be divided into extrinsic and intrinsic muscles. Extrinsic muscles, as the name suggests, originate from the structures outside of the tongue and they insert into the tongue. Their function is to alter the position of the tongue, such as protrusion, depression, and side-to-side -side movements. The extrinsic muscles include the hyoid glosses, the genioglosses, the palatoglosses, and the styloglosses. So let's start with the hyoglossus muscle. It originates from the hyoid bone and it inserts into the side of the tongue. The muscle is located below the tongue and functions to depress the tongue. And it is innervated by the hypoglossal nerve. Next is the genioglossus muscle, which is a fan-shaped muscle originating from the genial tubercles or the mental spine and inserts into the side of the tongue. It protrudes the tongue and is also innervated by the hypoglossal nerve. Moving on to the styloglossus muscle, it originates from the styloid process of the temporal bone and inserts into the side of the tongue. It is located behind the tongue and it functions to retract the tongue. This is also innervated by the cranial nerve 12. And finally, coming to the palatal glossus muscle, it originates from the palatine aponeurosis of the soft palate and it inserts to the side of the tongue. Its action is to elevate the back part of the tongue and is innervated by the vagus nerve. It is the only muscle of the tongue that is not innervated by the hypoglossal nerve. And this can be used as an MCQ. So these were the extrinsic muscles of the tongue. It's actually very easy to remember the origin and insertion of the extrinsic muscles because the origin insertion will be given in the name of the muscle itself. All the extrinsic muscles of the tongue and with the a word glossus, which means tongue. So the first half of its name gives the origin and the second half gives the insertion. For example, the hyoglossus, so its origin is the hyoid bone and the insertion is tongue glossus. The genioglossus, the origin is the genial tubercle and the insertion is the tongue. So just in case you forget the origin and insertion of the extrinsic muscles, just remember that the name of the muscle itself will give you a clue. So let's move on to the intrinsic muscles of the tongue. They are the muscles which are found entirely within the tongue. Their function is to change the shape of the tongue. These muscles include the superior longitudinal, inferior longitudinal, transverse, and vertical muscles. All the intrinsic muscles are supplied by the hypoglossal nerve. So over here we have a cross section of the tongue. The superior longitudinal muscle is located below the lingual mucosa. It is the superior most muscle as its name suggests. And underneath that is the vertical muscle. Below that we have the transverse muscle of the tongue. And the inferior most intrinsic muscle is the inferior longitudinal muscle. So now that we know that the motor innervation of the muscles of the tongue is by the hypoglossal nerve and the vagus nerve for the palatoglossal muscle, let's take a look at the sensory innervation. So first, let's divide the tongue into the anterior two-thirds and the posterior one-third. In the anterior two-thirds, general sensory innervation is through the mandibular nerve a branch of the trigeminal nerve through the lingual nerve and special sensory which is taste is supplied by the facial nerve through the corda tympani. In the posterior one-thirds the general and special sensory are innervated by the glossopharyngeal nerve 
And last, the area around the epiglottis is supplied by the vagus nerve through the internal laryngeal nerve. So last but not least is the vascular supply of the tongue. The blood supply is from the branches of the lingual artery and the deep lingual artery. So this was a quick review of the muscles of the tongue. It is a very easy but important topic. If you liked this video and found it useful, please do like, subscribe, and share to Dental Jam and MedBeats. Thank you.